Okay, during our first class meeting, we went over the microscope, the use of the microscope, and you guys looked at some different things. I want to go over the microscope again, just to make sure that everybody knows the proper use of it, and that we don't have any problems throughout the semester. Now, um, the first thing that I have my slides that I prepared with my smears, and I'm going to take a look at them. Now, when using the microscope, of course, the first thing you do is turn it on. Now, I can adjust my light right here using the iris diaphragm. Okay, now I'm going to put my slide on the stage and I'm going to use the clips to make sure it's clipped into place. Then I'm going to center my slide over the specimen. Now because we're going to be viewing bacteria today and through most of the classes, you want to um, not even worry about the 4x objective. The bacteria are just too small. They're not really going to look like anything. Now we're going to start with the 10x objective. Now last time I mentioned your condenser and making sure it's in the proper location. Well, this is the condenser right here, and you see as I move this knob, the condenser moves down. Okay? And I mentioned the procedure that I prefer is that you find your specimen under the 10x power, and you focus. Okay? Now you take the inoculating loop, and you hold it over the light source. As you look through the microscope, you look for the loop. And if it's blurry, you move the condenser until it comes into focus, the loop itself, okay? Now, when you go to use the higher power, like the 40X or the 100 objective, it should be in focus. Um, you'll just need mi minor adjustments with the fine focus knob. Now, if your condenser is too far down, that may be a problem when you go to focus. So keep in mind, later on in the semester, as you're using your microscopes, if you have problems focusing on the 40, um, power, it may be because your condenser is too far away. Okay? Now I'm looking at my particular um, specimen that I prepared with my slides. Now I have it under the 10x power. One of the mistakes the students make is they have their light up too high. So always kind of dim it a little bit when you're on the 10x. Now I find it and I can use the course adjustment knob under the 10x because it's not going to hit the objective. Once we get to the 40 you don't want to do that. You only want to use the fine focus. So now I found my specimen, okay, and it's going to look pretty small. Um, if you see something large at this point, that's not your specimen. That's not a bacteria, it's some sort of debris of some kind. So once I've focused under the 10, now I can go to the 40, and as you notice, I'm not pulling on the objectives, I'm actually turning using the revolving nose piece. Now I'm under the 40, I will not use the course adjustment, I can only use the fine adjustment knob. So now I'm going to focus, bring it into place, Find focus. Now I'm ready to use the oil immersion. Now keep in mind, once you put the oil on, you cannot go back to the 40. So be completely confident that you have a good specimen in focus and centered before you go to the 100 objective because you have to put the oil on and we can't get oil on the 40. So you put it to where the specimen is between the 40 and the 100. So see, I'm just putting it between it. Okay. Then I add my drop of oil, and you need very little oil. And you don't actually touch the slide with the bottle, just let the oil drop onto it. Now I move the 100 directly into the oil, and it's really close. It looks like it's going to hit, but if you're in focus, it won't. Now, once again, only minimal fine adjustment can be used. What generally works is I focus away from me first, so notice how I'm moving that direction. If it doesn't come, come into focus, I'm going to come back a little bit. If you find that you're having to focus way too much, you need to start over. But we can't go back to the 40 because we can't get oil on it. We're going to go back to the 10, find it again, then go back to the 100. That's why I'm saying make sure you have it centered and in focus on the 40 before you go to the 100. Okay. Now that I've drawn and ob observed and drawn my specimen, I'm going to move it to the 4, and I'm going to move it down, and I'm going to take my slide off. Now that I'm done, I need to clean the oil off that 100 objective. So I have the lens paper and our little half a piece of paper that we're going to use, and you simply blot and blot. See, each time I do it, a little bit more oil comes off, and you just keep going until no more oil is left on that lens, okay? All right, 
Now, if you're ever concerned, make sure you check the 40 that you didn't get oil on it. If your microscope is clean and you're done, you can go ahead and put it away. All right, remember, you want to turn the power off. It has to be on the 4x objective. Stage has to be all the way down. We would then unwrap, unplug the cord, wrap it around the back, put on the dust cover, carry it with both hands back to where it belongs, and we're going to put it in the slot where the number matches where you got it from. Now remember when you put it in to the case that the objective lenses go in first and that the cord would be facing you.